Hello everyone and welcome to VR Flight World. In this episode I'm going to show you how we can do a manual cache of Microsoft Flight Simulator in order to get uh, as much detail as we can possibly get out of this sim uh, without using up all your internet or if you're flying offline especially this will definitely help you out. So what I have here is I'm going to be doing this in uh, Rome, Italy and we're going to be doing this over the Colosseum. And the reason I'm going to do this is so we have some uh, an area that we can really look at the detail here. I'm going to do the surrounding area as well and we're going to get some good detail on this area and we're going to fly over top of it. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the low setting, the medium setting, the high setting. And before we even get into that, I want to show you how to do that. So let's uh, let's create one here. So if, you, if you're not familiar with this manual cache here, all you have to do is go to options, you go to general, and then you're going to come down here to where it says data, go on data. At the bottom, it says manual cache. Go view. All right, so you're going to come up to this screen here. The problem with this screen is it's really hard to navigate. That's the one issue I find. Um, there's no labels when it comes to this, so you can't just travel. Like I can travel to a location, but it doesn't. But it's not as user friendly as you'd hope. So um, when I type in Roma, because that's the only way I could seem to find Rome is when I type it in uh, the Italian way, the Roma. Let's go there. And then I do have to find it. So um, I did locate it myself. All right, guys. So I had to manually look for the Colosseum. Um, it would be nice if you could type in the Colosseum up here or even Rome and it would come up with a marker saying this is Rome, but it doesn't. So it's, it's kind of a, you have to know the area if you're going to be doing it. So you could always pull up the map on the side, I would say using like Google Maps or something like that, I guess Bing Maps maybe in this case, but you could pull that up on another screen if you have another screen and then try to locate this with the landmarks. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So let's create a new region. And before we move on to anything else, let's name this region. Let's just call it Rome. And uh, right now we'll say we're going to come here. We're going to zoom out. And you have a few different options here for painting tools. So you can use the left mouse button to pan. So there's paint mode, which is holding your right mouse button here. I'm going to zoom out because the first thing we're going to do is do this on low. And what I'll have you notice right away here is that when you zoom out, it goes to low quality. When you zoom in, it goes to medium and zoom all the way and it goes to high quality. So we're going to zoom all the way out here to low quality. So initially this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to find the area again. It's right. So as you can see right now, these are, these squares are a lot bigger. And so this means we have a lot less detail. So I'm going to just do this whole general area here. So as I do it, right click, I can drag to the right to do it. Or let's uh, just do one square there. So you can drag and make a nice square or you hold shift and you can just paint an area like this. So you can drag and highlight everything or paint. So it's up to you. So now what we have is a low, an area that is low detail. So we're going to zoom in a little more and now we're up to the medium detail. So first I'm going to do is find my Colosseum again. This is what I mean by it. it's kind of a pain to find in here. So it would be nice if there's a marker so you didn't have to zoom in, find it every time because I might have missed my mark here. So we did. Here's the Colosseum right here. So we're going to zoom out. That's where we want to get. We want this square here. So I'm going to do this. We're just going to highlight this whole area because I want this whole area. And obviously the more you highlight, the bigger the file is going to be. But this is all on low quality, so it's going to be a lot less detailed. And in fact, I'm going to even include some of this over here in low quality. We're going to zoom in again. Let's see if we can get to the Coliseum again. So if you want to remove this, you just hold the control key. So as, as you can see, and then right click and we can remove this. So it has to be the left control key. I held the right control key and that did not work. So. Let's go down here and uh, the Coliseum's right here, I believe. There it is. Should be the Coliseum. Let's take a look, closer look. That is definitely the Coliseum. So we are going to highlight this area here now. So let's go in here. And as you can see now, I'm on the medium quality. So now we have this area here on medium quality. Let's go even bigger right there. So we have nice area of medium quality. And then what I'm going to do here is we're going to zoom in even further right into the Coliseum here. 
zoom out a little bit just so we have the high quality area see how far we can go that's where it breaks into the high quality so we're gonna leave it there we're gonna go this area here just highlight this right around here so I don't know if that highlighted no it did not let's try that again so right here let's do this area and of course we can zoom out and zoom back into a different area here if we want move around but let's leave it at that for now um, so we know right around the Coliseum there is high quality so that is how you do it now once you're done here you're gonna hit finish and download and that's gonna download all this information and uh, this is the easiest way to do um, to be very specific of where you want to have the high quality so if you know you're gonna be flying and you want the best experience possible you could highlight around the airport you're gonna be flying from and uh, and create that as high quality expand out and create as the next quality and if I'll show you one trick here too as, as well so I come over here let's just zoom into any area doesn't really matter so let's say we want this little community here so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this area on high quality and you'll see what happens when it goes to low and medium see what happens here I got low and I have medium so if you were doing an airport you could zoom right in highlight the, the airport in high quality and it's automatically going to highlight everything else for you. All right, so once you're done, hit finish and download. And I'm going to show you what the difference is between these. So I'm probably going to, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to create a low quality version. Um, actually, no quality. So I'm going to do this offline and we're going to have one flight offline and it's going to show the Coliseum without any scenery. We're going to add in the low quality scenery. We're going to add in the medium and then the high quality scenery. And I can do this all offline. That way my internet is not streaming any data to my simulator. So we're gonna try that and I'll show you what it looks like, the difference here. And I figured this would be a good area to kind of showcase this. All right, so here we are in Rome, Italy. This is the Colosseum. See that little circle there? That's the Colosseum. This is no manual cache. We're just swiping through to uh, low here. So this is the low level cache. And so I'm gonna kind of switch back and forth here between a few different ones. Here is the, the medium level now. So you can see a huge difference between the low and the medium. And then there's uh, between the low, medium and the high, I don't find as much of a difference until you get a little closer. So from here, it looks great. Medium it looks great on high. And you're gonna find some differences here and there. But on the, at this level, from this height, they both look amazing. So there's a little difference between the size here, actually a big difference. Uh, the low ended up being about 1.15 megabytes, so really, really small. The medium was 15.93 megabytes, and the high is 800 megabytes. So there's a big difference here. And in this image, you, I, I'm not sure if we actually zoom out far enough, but you should see that there's an actual divide. If you look at the medium and the high level, you're going to see an actual divide where the medium stops see the color change there as we get higher you can see where the medium stops and where the regular scenery continues on so you can see that we're missing a little bit of detail on the outer edges there of the medium and high where it's it's transitioned from the the medium area and high area to uh, the low so this is a nice zoomed in spot sorry it's a little quick on this first one here but it's uh no we have no cash on this first one I find the low and the one without cash are very similar and here's the low level I'm not sure if they're exactly the same maybe they are maybe it just speeds up your system but there's not a whole lot of difference between those two so this is the low right now and we'll switch over you'll see the big difference uh, when we switch to the medium and uh, don't be alarmed it does look a little odd from this close and it's to be expected because we're not supposed to be flying this close to um, the Colosseum and that kind of thing so with medium it does have kind of an odd appearance to it but you can tell it's more like the Colosseum than the other ones the other ones look like a generic building this one actually looks more like the Colosseum but if you notice that when I was zoomed out when I had the overhead view when we were a little bit higher up you couldn't really tell the difference between the medium and the high level so it's it's this one is great for if you're a little bit higher up so now we're gonna switch into the high level and you're gonna notice a big difference here when we're this close uh, the high level is very detailed so this is great for if you're flying into an airport you're gonna want this high detail right around the airport as well as around anything you're gonna be flying nice and close to like the Coliseum here 
Um, it's obviously going to eat up a lot of space if you put a lot of things in high detail. So you're not going to want to spread the high detail out over the whole sim. And of course, when you're not running, when you're running with this with internet, the sim is going to do all this for you as you're flying. So you're not going to have to worry about this. So if you have a great internet connection, I suggest that you have the rolling cache and just let things flow the way they should flow. Um, if there's a spot you always fly in, then sure, you should probably do some manual caching and uh, you might get a little performance from it. I'm not sure yet. I haven't played with that yet, but uh, it's looking good. Like this is pretty incredible. Look at this, uh, the detail in this. So for a flight sim, this is pretty amazing. Of course, we're not driving around on the, the streets here. We're flying in a plane, so we're not expecting to have absolutely amazing, perfect graphics, but really we are getting that with this flight sim and this is over the whole world. So it's pretty incredible. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I know I've enjoyed making the video. I'm really enjoying flying Microsoft Flight Sim right now. If you guys do like this, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.